Hey, I'm Ingrid Brown, and welcome back to America on 18 Wheels. Today, as you can tell, you're going to go, what in the world is going on? Well, today, we're going to be talking to an amazing lady that is with the Women in Trucking Association and is the Director of Driver Engagement. And you're going, okay, so like, does she recruit? Whatever. Let's get into that. I want to welcome you, and I call her Andy. Of course, Andy, a dad too. Very well, yay! yay. She did, you guys. We've been working on this. Yes. yes. Uh, good morning. Good morning. I want to start off by saying, Andy came to us with uh, women in trucking, uh, with a ten-year history in the industry. Andy also is certified with FMCSA compliance and safety. She has been around the industry forever. Um, she's well known in government for ride alongs and scheduling those, but as well, she worked with us, the drivers. That is a huge thing. And I wanted her to come on today and one, so you know who she is and you can reach out and go, Hey, I want to be a driver because that is the mission of women in trucking is to show you that you too can do what I do and what millions of other people do in the country. I think like 4.7 million to be exact. Andy, yes. welcome. Yes. Thanks. Welcome. Welcome. I'm so glad to be here. We didn't color match, but you know what? I don't know that we all get the memos when we're together. <laughs> right. Right. You could have called me ahead of time. You, you could have called me. That's okay. oh, this is true. I think we're pretty cool. <laughs> Good morning. Good so morning. I, Welcome to WIT, Women in Trucking. We are so happy and glad to have you with us and what you're doing. Uh, you you have you just come on board several months ago. Uh, what made you come to Women in Trucking? Um, you I wear just... a lot of hats. <laughs> so where did you, how did you decide to hang those hats at Women in Trucking? You know, I, I love what I do. I love safety. I love compliance. I love all those things. Um, but I want to make a, a bigger impact in the industry um, to encourage, equip, and bring women into the industry ultimately. And so I'm very passionate about the industry as a whole for everybody. And so this was just a great opportunity and I just took it. So here I am. Absolutely. And I want to say you are from Sulphur Springs, Texas, right above Dallas, yes. uh, below the text, you know, the Arkansas line there. And uh, I am a I used to that was my stopping spot because either I could park over in the parking area or I could go eat Arby's at the pilot. That's correct. <laughs> so, you know, that's correct. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a it's a well-known place to drivers. Uh, so it brings to you where, you know, it's it's an area of travel that many of us travel and the travel is there. Yeah. Let's get into some of the things that's going on with you and women in trucking. And one I want to start with and that brings more women and a really great reason is one of the programs is Lead Her Mentoring. Yes, yes. Lead Her Mentorship is um, just an, a great program. It's a it's an eight month program where women are linked together with another mentor and they walk along life together. So each month it's, you're talking about a different topic, whether that's finances on the road or safety on the road or how to do pre-trips in the cold, um, just different um, tools that you can get around your belt to be better equipped for being out on the road. And you know, a lot of the time, you don't wanna ask the question to your employer or, or something like that. You need somebody just to come alongside you and just, just be there, right? And so this gives an opportunity to have just a fellowship and network of people just to say, hey, I'm struggling with this, or hey, I had this victory in this, let's celebrate. You know, it's just that camaraderie that's just great. And Lead Her Trucking is just, outstanding and we have a pod happening in september and we are looking to fill it so we have 15 spots available so if anybody's interested in being a part of that mentorship program yes ma'am you're the perfect person for this because you are such a hands-on with us i mean you take phone calls at 11 o'clock at night I do. believe me i know how this works <laughs> i mean you have the guidance whether it's somebody uh, and, and we spoke yesterday briefly about, you know, you had a lady that contacted you that 
she didn't know what she wanted to do with her yes, life. Yes. Yes. Okay. So let me tell you about that. That was a really great story. Um, so she was out of um, Washington. No, Oregon. It doesn't really matter. Pack Northwest, whatever. And she just, she sent us a letter. She sent women in trucking a letter and she just said, you know, I, I'm thinking about making a change. I, I'm not sure what I want to do. I have a lot of questions. Maybe you could answer those questions. So if somebody could call me back. So I called her and I talked to her and I'm like, I don't have the answers that she needs, but I know somebody who does. And so I connected her with Jody Edwards from JB Hunt, who was part of our image team. And she called her and was able to answer all of her questions. And then I get a call back from the lady just to tell me how appreciative she was that Jody took the time to answer her call, to answer her questions and they started a new relationship, being able to walk through um, getting her CDL and getting her out on the road. So I'm really excited about that. That's awesome. Okay. I'm going to say this right now. I've not been a part of the program yet, and I haven't extended myself in this. So that spot that you have open, I want it. I, I want in of being able to be a mentor. Yay! <laughs> Ingrid's going to be a mentor. Yeah, I mean, I look at it as not just being the mentor, but I'm looking at the friendships. I'm looking at oh, this lady yes. is my age. I mean, it's kind of like I could share her being 16 yeah, and yeah, just she, working. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, oh yeah, sign me up. Sign me up. You have all my information. Sign my line. All right. Yes. All right. That's Thanks. awesome. Absolutely. Yay. Um, you know, <laughs> another area that you also touch is the Girl Scouts. Now we're going from age difference and oh, yes. areas, but I think it's just such a neat thing. And I think you've taken that over. And for people that don't know, the Girl Scouts have now a transportation patch that they can earn by learning about transportation, yep. all the areas, not just truck driving, but it brings them into That's seeing correct. what the career and they may can do in the future, but you know, earning that teaches them about transportation. What all do you do with that? And how can anybody get involved? Okay. So, um, I'm like the, the connector again. I mean, that's just, I guess maybe I, my title should be the connector. <laughs> um, so I, so I connect our, uh, women in trucking corporate members with a local girl scout troop and we create an event. And so like our most recent event was up in Indiana with Cummings. And so we organized that event. So the Girl Scouts of Indiana came out to Cummings facility and they were able to go through a simulator. They were able to touch a truck. They were able to go sit in a truck and honk the horn and do all the wonderful things. They got to go around with a technician and do a pre-trip with a technician. So what they're looking at when they're doing a, a PMA or a PMB, which is for those who don't know, it's a preventative maintenance. So it was just really interesting for them to able to, their ability to walk through all of those processes, as well as talk with the dispatcher and they got to um, talk with the sales rep. And so just learning the whole supply chain as a whole, how it all connects together and just seeing, you know, what impact they can make. So um, yeah, if you're interested, again, um, Andrea, at womenintrucking.org is my email. So just let me know you're interested in hosting a Girl Scout event and we can work everything out. You can go to our WIT mall to order the patches as well as the books. Um, it's just like a little coloring book, activity book. So you can kind of um, have something for the girls as well. So it's just really, really great. Um, I love what we do uh, with the Girl Scouts. Oh, I think it's great reaching to, to the younger ones, especially starting them out at that age to where they can have more of a decision of what they want to do career-wise later on. I mean, they may want to be uh, the CEO of J.B. Hunt, and we're going to get to that in a minute. But first, I want to tell you <laughs> how I fit in with you, Andy, is I'm one of your image team members. Now, a lot of people are like, image are. team members, does that mean like, you know, you, you're an, the image? Well, we're, we're a whole lot more than that. 
Um, and we were actually um, formulated, or I say formulated, that wasn't a word, were formed in 2015. And the inaugural team was five of us. And I'll be honest, I put my application in. And when I did, I called Lana and Ellen and I said, I'm not sure this is going to work because all these are big corporations and I own Roland B LLC and it's me and this big truck sitting in the driveway. So I'm not sure that I have enough to give. And I'm going with this to the point that you don't have to have a big mega fleet, a big corporation, a big sponsor right. to participate right. and to be a part of the and, and I call these ladies elite because amazing people that are on this group. That's a good word. Yes. That's a good word. So That's a good when word. they called my name, my little brother was sitting beside of me and he was sitting beside Jeff from Walmart. And I literally grabbed his, let my brother's leg jumped over him and literally fell over Jeff screaming because I'm <laughs> like, no, it can't be happening, but it did happen. So image team, that. image team. Let's touch base because oh, the gosh. next thing is really going to bring to light some of this work and stuff because it's one of our really cool things. Image team, what do we do? Okay. Well, the image team are just a group of fantastic women that just, I, I'm honored to, to work with them. Um, they're passionate and knowledgeable about the industry. Um, they have a positive voice about getting women inside the industry, and they're from all um, areas of trucking, not just drivers. We have some drivers, we have some compliance, we have an owner of a CDL college, um, human resources, we, the whole gamut. I mean, it, it's really encompassing, not only in North, um, not only in the United States, but also up in Canada. So it's really great that we have such a diverse group. But this diverse group. <laughs> gives deeper understanding to the general public about the struggles, the victories, um, the ins and outs of transportation from a woman's perspective. And it's really great. It's really great. They do ride alongs, they do media interviews, they do some mentorship, they do background work for um, authors on books. I mean, you name it, product, they, they review products um, before they get installed in pieces of equipment. Um, it's just great. It, they're just a dynamic individual group of individuals that I get to work with. They're great. Well, I'm honored to be a part of the image team, but I'm honored more so to work with you and all these ladies. Uh, I can reach out to so many of them because I mean, it doesn't matter how long I've been out here. I still have questions and every yeah. one of them either have the answer or can guide me to somebody who has it. So it's an amazing That's group correct. of women. Um, and I think that anybody that needs anything, go go to the womenintrucking.org and click on image team. And there's somebody that you can connect with. We all come from walks of, yep. wa all walks of life. And, yep. you know, one may not be your cup of tea. Uh, and you're going to find somebody that fits what area you are. Reach out to us. We we love it. Uh, okay. Uh, here's the cool thing is we have something called Whitney. And Yay. everybody's like, okay, Whitney must be a driver or whatever. No. Man. Whitney is our just, a, how do you say? She is amazing. Whitney is literally a trailer like you pull behind a truck. Yeah. Uh, you can't miss her. The graphics on Whitney are just, you know, like we said yesterday, Whitney is a superhero. Um, and there's nothing that, as she shows, women can't do. She is that support to look at that the sky's the limit. But there's special things about Whitney. And I am not going to be the one to tell it because this is your baby girl. So, and there's some of the things you've done with Whitney. And let's go there. Okay, so Whitney is our educational trailer, and it's the first of its kind um, exhibit with premier tools inside to educate members and the general public about women inside the trucking industry. Um, in the front of the trailer, there is a 
three different kiosks where you can take some safety videos or a DNA test to see if you have what it takes to be a truck driver, because not everybody does, um, but uh, you can take that. And then on the other side is our timeline from when we started with women, when Ellen Voya started Women in Trucking to present. And it's just a great timeline just to kind of show the growth um, of women inside the industry and the impact that we've made um, going forward. So it's really, really great. And then we have Her Stories, which is another three kiosks where we talk about, um, they're like little vignettes of women inside the industry um, about the lifestyle that it takes you know, able to have a work-life balance and it's just walking everybody through those vignettes. And then at the very back, which is like everybody's favorite part complete is the simulator. Um, and it's full functioning. So you get on it and the, tr uh, the chair moves with you as you make turns, as you start, as you crash, it's kind of a great interactive tool. And it's kind of funny to watch people drive uh, on the simulator and you're like, you know, maybe you shouldn't be a truck driver. No, I'm <laughs> um, it's, it's usually the four-year-olds that have the big problem because <laughs> they don't change. They and they can't keep... reach the pedal. <laughs> no, no. So it's fun, it, but it's great. It's a great opportunity for families and um, to actually be put in a safe space to where they can drive a truck um, and just to see if that's something that they want to do in the future or not. Um, we've had several events throughout the summer um, that we've been able to be a part of. And it's just, it's just great. I love seeing people walk through the trailer into the simulator and then say, you know what, I can do this. Exactly. And, and the deputy administrator, Robin Hutchins, she did it up in match and that's right. Yeah. I mean, so everybody takes a turn. I don't care if you're a driver. We love to even get on the simulator. You know, it's, 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 it's educational. So the events that have happened here and you spent a week in Arkansas and you yes. were at <laughs> JB Hunt and uh, we, uh, that was amazing because we saw, you know, Shelly brought her two girls out and they all yep. experienced the, the simulator and the trailer and the day. And you went to Walmart and I'm not even, you know, here we go. This is your, this is another area that <laughs> is amazing to so, hear this story. So, okay. So Whitney took a long time to get finished and it just did. There were just so many moving parts. And so she was finally completed at, at the beginning of June um, with all wraps being complete. Everything was done. And so we were able to take her out for a full week out in Arkansas, which was absolutely fantastic. It was a great time. I was able to work with two dynamic individuals from our image team, Miss Allison Hay and Carol Nixon, who both work for Walmart. They're dynam dynam dynamite. They're just dynamic. Yes, absolutely. Darlings. They're just amazing. I love them. Anyway, so <clears throat> we too. were able to start at... <laughs> We were able to start at Walmart and we're at Walmart and we're just having people walk through and, um, you know, Carol and Allison and Deb Labrie are showcased inside the trailer on the, on one of the walls, uh, because they represent that dovetail workwear. So anyway, so everybody was coming and taking a picture with the, uh, mural on the back. And then they realized that Allison and, Carol were actually on site. They were just somewhere else at the moment. And so then they're like, we're going to take double pictures of you. So it was really, really fun just to watch Walmart people just get really excited about it and just love on it. And they were able, we had, I think we had like 160 people come through at Walmart. It was really, really great just to see the associates have a better understanding um, from the dispatcher's perspective of what happens on the road for the driver. So oh yeah, that was really <clears throat> That was really, really great. And so then um, day two, we went over to JB Hunt. And that was, again, another opportunity where we had back office come down and go through the trailer. So these are your engineers, your dispatchers, your brokers, um, human resources, recruiting, all of those people came through and it was just really interesting to watch them all want gravitate towards a simulator. And they're like, Oh, 
now I understand that why they can't always park where I want them to park or, you know, it's just kind of that eye opening experience because I didn't realize how long, you know, they conceptually they know, but they don't actually know until they can kind of see it in a simulator situation. So it was really, really good. And then Shelly, (laughs) Shelly came down with Andrea Lewis and that was just that was just a hoot and holler and mess. It was great. Um, you know, Shelly's nervous. She had to take her jacket off because she was like, I've got to get in this. You know, I've got to go. I'm going to drive it well. And I've got to teach my girls they can do it too. And Andrea Lewis is there singing on the side. Um, just, I can't drive until you sing. And so it was great. It was great. The simulator, we just had a good time. time. You know, I want to ask you this. You know, for me, and I've seen so many people say, I have to turn the radio down when I'm really looking for a road or street or watching certain traffic stop or something. Right. So did they think they needed to quit singing whenever they started, like, really getting in maneuvers? But, uh, yeah. I <laughs> But you can see it, right? Like Shelly's like yeah. that's that's totally Shelly and it that's, was it yes. was great. It was a yes. great experience. I got to see her for a us. few minutes in, in Arkansas in, in October at uh the future supply chain and for right. freight waves and it was great seeing her. It's been a while and yes, I could definitely see her and yes, Andrea. I mean it just yeah. Um the graphics on Whitney you can't miss. And there's also, no, there's also wrapped trucks and that's Amelia, correct? Yeah, that's correct. So um, Schneider is one of our um, supporters and they wrapped um, their tractor to match oh, Whitney and it looks great. And we call her Amelia and she's great. And so we have Amelia and Whitney and they're you know, one and the same when they're connected, it's great. And just watching her drive down the road is a showstopper. I mean, she's literally a superhero holding a wheel because her mission is to redefine the road. And so that's what we do. That's Whitney and Amelia. And it's, it's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. Your engagement, that word fits you perfect in this And I want to say I'm so honored and I'm so glad that you are where you're at and I'm exposed to all your engagement and your excitement and your knowledge. And I want to say thank you so, so much. Uh, I wanted today it to be an Andy day. I wanted (laughs) it to be an Andy of women in trucking, Uh, not women of trucking's Andy. I wanted you because people should see the compa- the passion that you have and compassion, but the passion that you have for this industry, but for us as drivers, you mm-hmm. give a hundred percent and thank you. Thank you for all of that. And I can't wait to see where this future goes. And uh, I plan on being on the ride with you, girlfriend. I'm going to be Woo-hoo! right there. Yeah. Right on. Come on. Yeah, exactly. So welcome aboard. Yeah, I'm just so excited to be here and I'm so excited to be a part of the team at Women in Trucking. And if you're not a member, join us, join the family, join the sisterhood. Um, We'd love to support you, equip you, challenge you, celebrate you. Just join us, womenintrucking.org. Exactly. And guys, it's not just for women. You are just as welcome. We have men and uh, you have the full support and listen, you get stuck with all of us women. That's the best part. So, you know, again, Andy, thank you so much. I want to have you back because we have something very special happening in November. And I want to have that time with you about Accelerate because it's going to take a full time, uh, a full show to do that. So yes, I'm hoping sure. and I'm asking you to come back with me. Let me know when I'll be available. That sounds great. Listen, thank you very much. Have a great day. And, uh, <laughs> I'm so glad this worked out today. Thanks. I appreciate you. You too. Bye-bye. Love you, girl. Bye. Love you too.